Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire from Mum Life and More and today I have a Q&A video for you relating to our recent holiday to Spain. So before we came home, I popped a post on my community tab to see if you'd like a holiday Q&A and I got quite a few questions come through. So I've got my laptop here and I thought I would just go through the questions and give you as best answers as I can. So if you're new around here, my name is Claire. Welcome to my channel. I'm a mum of three and we've recently been on a two week holiday to Spain and it was lovely and it wasn't your typical holiday where you get a plane, we drove. We drove all the way to Spain. We did just under a thousand miles. It took us two days there and two days back and we had two weeks in Spain. It was glorious. It felt like we were away for such a long time and I have a lot of holiday vlogs so I will link the playlist below in the comments so do go and check out those videos if you are interested and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. So, excuse me. So I we'll go through the questions and see if I can answer them for you. So the first one is, would love to know how much cheaper it was going by car. It was a lot cheaper going by car. It was a lot cheaper than we thought. So the year previous, we flew to Spain for 11 days. So we had two traveling days and then nine days in Spain. And the flights were 1100 pounds for five of us. Going by car, we obviously had to pay for fuel we had to book the euro tunnel we could have gone by ferry but the euro tunnel and the ferry were coming out basically the same price and it was just quicker to do the euro tunnel rather than the ferry the ferry takes an hour and a half to calais the euro tunnel takes 35 minutes so we went on le chateau and that was oh i think that was 300 pounds or thereabouts between 250 and 300 pounds it was a really good price especially for summer holidays we went literally the day after the children broke up from school and it was a really easy quick way of doing it so we had to pay for fuel we had to pay for the shuttle we had obviously food costs on the way down and a hotel stay that was 50 euros a night basically the the hotel um we stayed at a premier class on the way and we had to get two rooms. They were adjoining rooms because there's five of us and it came to just over £100. So it was just over €50 Euros a night. It was a basic room. It was a clean room, but that's all we needed it for was just to sleep there for one night. Um, so it came in considerably cheaper to drive because we had our own car. So we didn't have to pay the car for the costs for a hire car, um, which that really does bump up the price of everything. If you have to have a car that's big enough for five people plus the luggage in the back, you know, your suitcases from flying, I think it cost us about 800 pounds to do our hire car last year. So already you're at 1100 pounds for flights and then 800 pounds for a hire car. Whereas so far we're like 300 pounds for the Euro tunnel. So we didn't have to fill up for fuel very much. And we had 200 euros or just over 200 euros for hotel stays plus our food along the way and dinners out but I mean you'd be buying snacks and things at the airport anyway so it did work out considerably cheaper to go by car than it did by plane it is not quicker obviously we spent two days traveling but that was part of the fun of it we enjoyed the journey the children were amazingly behaved I drove on a French motorway for the first time ever and I didn't kill us all which were it was a genuine fear of mine. It really was. As I pulled onto the motorway, I really thought like, oh my God, this could be the end of us because I might kill us. It's not, it's no joke. Driving's no joke. Obviously road accidents happen all the time. And I was very scared. I was very, very scared. Um, but I got used to it. And in the end, Gareth was telling me to, to slow down. <laughs> so I got used to it pretty quickly. Um, but I will take my, my hat off to my husband. He is a much better driver than I am. His reaction times are better. He's just overall better equipped for driving. And I'm so thankful I didn't have to drive around town in Spain or in France because I, can't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I can't get my head around the roundabouts or anything. He just has a knack for that. I can't. No, not, not my bag. But yeah, it did work out a lot cheaper to go by car than it did by plane. Um, someone else says... On the last couple of holidays that you have vlogged, you were honest and said the kids have been complaining and moaning, e.g. in the evening when they were tired, not wanting to go on a walk, etc. Now they're older, has this been less? Um, only as in the vlog so far, you haven't mentioned anything about it. I know you keep things real and raw. Uh, yeah, they complained. Oh my God, they complained. Of course they complained. Um, yeah, it's hot while we're in Spain. My legs hurt. Well, 
yeah, okay. But if there was an ice cream truck there, you'd be very quick to run towards it and you wouldn't complain about your legs hurting. Um, and my, my stock answer to them now when they say my legs are tired, you walked two days around Disney, 20,000 steps a day. You're not tired. Um, no, they, they did. They didn't complain too much. But the kids complain all the time. They're thirsty and you get them doing, oh, I want an ice cream. Well, when we get to the place, then we'll have an ice cream. You can't have an ice cream now. It's nine o'clock in the morning. You know, it, kids complain. I just didn't, I just didn't film obviously I just didn't film the complaining um and I don't want to like like moan about my kids all the time um but yeah of course they of course they complained they complained loads you know um like, like all kids do you know you never get me anything no I've just bought you on a, a two-week holiday to Spain and but bought you ice creams and, and souvenirs and all sorts but no you're right I don't care I never get you anything um, so yeah they did complain I just didn't like talk about it that much on my vlogs but no they were really good but uh, again they're just children they're just they're just kids so of course they complained um yeah they are just normal kids um someone else says an old tag but what went well on the holiday what didn't uh one thing you wish you did instead one regret okay so what went well on the holiday the journey oh my goodness the journey there and back went amazingly well better than either of us could have hoped for we did tell the kids several times how good they were being um every time there was like a marker on the distance thing like when it got to six hours driving i tell them six hours left kids five hours left kids four hours left you're doing really well we took you know ipads and um films and things to keep them occupied uh they were so good they were so so good uh what didn't go well um excuse me what did it go well i don't know nothing nothing didn't go well i mean apart from the usual family dramas you know of just just normal family life of you know people complaining or people misbehaving sometimes um no i can't think of anything that went particularly wrong uh, the only thing that didn't go well was on the very first day when we got there tried to pay for our hotel um gareth's card got declined for some reason we don't know why and then we had a problem paying by card in Lidl a lot of the time so we had to take cash with us so although most places have cards and you can pay contactless on your phone if you're going abroad make sure you've got some cash because without the cash in Lidl we would have been stuffed um every other supermarket it always worked fine but this, for some reason in Lidl which didn't like our card um no idea why I guess that's the thing that went badly oh and then um my car washer bottle broke when we were out there but we managed to temporarily fix that and it wasn't an issue so you know there we go um one thing you wish you did instead um buy snacks and things from a shop before we went because we did spend quite a bit of money at gas stations and rest stops on food on the way up and that's something i would do differently next time is be more prepared be more prepared with the snacks and things so that we're not spending a lot of money at gas stations because the prices are always hiked up aren't they um one regret do i have any regrets i don't think so no no i don't think there's no regrets i'm sorry i'm yawning so much i don't think we have i don't think i have any regrets no it was a wonderful holiday it was a really good holiday really enjoyed it um i probably ate too much chocolate but then you know everyone does on holiday so maybe that's my regret <laughs> eating too much chocolate being too much of a pig claire um someone else said i saw on instagram stories that you went on long walks every day was there a specific reason for this as it was three to six miles a day wasn't it were there certain routes you explored cafes that you went to to was it to get energy out of the kids thanks for updating us with your daily stories i've been enjoying the vlogs daily too um the reason we went on long walks was just something fun to do really um i mean on average we walked about four miles a day we didn't go on a long walk every day but if we walked into town by the time you walked into town you've walked around town and then you've walked home that's quite a long walk in and of itself um if we went on a particular walk we'd get up and go earlier in the day just because it was so hot and you couldn't go out and walk in it or go to the beach and things in the middle of the day. Um, and we, we do enjoy walking along the seafront. What we found is when we went on the walks, and this is what we'll do going forward, is the first couple of times we went, we walked along the paths and things. Um, and then towards the end of the holiday, I said, let's walk along the beachfront and the kids can play in the water along the way. 
and they loved that. It took longer because they were playing and things, but it was amazing to just see them having so much fun. And then where we were, there were like parks and things dotted along the beach. So we kind of stopped and let them play at a park and things like that. Um, but the reason we just like going on walks, we go on quite a lot of walks as a family anyway. Me and my husband enjoy walking. It's good for the children to be outside. Yeah, to get rid of their energy. Um, but yeah, it was just something, something to do basically. Um, for everyone's benefit but so that's the reason we went no other particular reason um and then in the evening it's nice to walk around town and things and walk around the harbour um yeah just and the kids can just play and things and see the sites and just experience it really um and that's the reason why um and no problem i really enjoyed up uploading to my stories i just feel like my stories since i've come home have been super boring but i loved uploading to my stories when we were on holiday okay so someone else asks Please may you talk about the apartment. Was it in a private complex? How many pools, bedrooms, etc.? Was it a good fit for your family? We go away next month, so it's not too hot for my youngest or for my youngsters. And we've decided to go to a private apartment so it gives us some privacy. Um, firstly, have a lovely time. I really hope you enjoy your holiday. Um, it was a private, private complex. Um, we didn't have a pool. It was right by the beach, so that was amazing. Um, it slept six, so it was big enough for us and it just, it suited us down to a T. Um, so yeah, I hope that you have a lovely holiday. Um, someone else says, did the kids understand that because you went on a longer holiday, there will be a mix of home meals and restaurant meals as it's bloody expensive with this? Did they pick out a meal each for you to cook while away? Um, they did understand that we did tell them beforehand, you know, we're going for a longer time. So we're not going to be going out and eating out every night, pretty much like we did with our last holiday. Most of the time we ate out. Um, but this time it was a mixed channel and we did tell the children that and explain to them why. Um, and we kind of had restaurants earmarked that we wanted to go to when we were walking around town. Lily got to pick the restaurant we went to on her birthday because it's birthday girl's choice. Um, and it was kind of a discussion as, as to where we wanted to go for dinner and things like that. Um, they didn't ask for anything in particular when I was cooking at home. They just asked what's for dinner. I told them, they're like, oh, okay then. Um, but yeah, they were, they were fine about it. Um, Someone else says, oh, excuse me, oh. we'll be interested to know how much in total your holiday was compared to if you had gone to an all-inclusive package holiday. Um, I don't know exactly. I haven't totted up the whole total, but an all-inclusive would have cost us a lot more. I know that for a fact. Um, whereabouts in Spain did you go? It looked beautiful. It was so beautiful. We went to Catalonia and it is gorgeous. It's so, so beautiful um was it hard to keep the children occupied during the journey how many stop-offs did you have it sounds like a great adventure it was a great adventure it really was um the kids are quite used to doing car journeys because we visit family around the country but they've never done a two-day car journey before we stopped twice i think on the way there and twice on the way back um so it was minimal stops literally just for the toilet and to sort of get some food um how do we keep them occupied? We kind of, I kind of just put a few things in their bags for them, um, like coloring pens and things like that. And they had their iPads. They had a few downloaded games. Um, Gareth downloaded some TV programs off Netflix onto his iPad, and how we've got a little like, what's it called? You know, a stand that you put on the headrest, so they could all see that. Um, and that's basically how how we kept them occupied. They were just so good. They just. We kind of just said to them, you know, it's a two day car journey. We're just going to have to get through it. And and they were really good. They were just so good. Um, obviously, there are a few moments. Obviously, there are a few testing moments. There's going to be with kids in the car. But they were so good. You know, we couldn't fault them. And I think the fact we did stop a couple of times and we did let them stretch their legs and things, that did make a difference. Um, someone said, would you ever consider driving a holiday just in France? Yes, absolutely we would. Especially now we've driven to Spain, we would drive anywhere in Europe, I think. And we'd already driven to Germany once um, when Zach was a baby. So yeah, we, we are not um, shy of driving. My husband actually prefers driving on the continent to over here. Um, I've heard strange things about their toilets that I'm not too sure about. No, I'm not too sure about them either. Neither am I. <laughs> the toilets were interesting. Um, yeah, they don't have toilet seats in France why i don't know why if anyone can answer me why please let me know um but the boys don't have a problem with that obviously because 
they can stand up and go to the toilet and I I just hover over the toilet anyway when I'm out in public I don't like to put my bum cheeks on a seat that I haven't cleaned um that I don't know if it's clean or not we did go to one rest stop where it was literally just a shower tray and I was like oh my good god I'm not using that I'm not using that so I went in the disabled one and there was a toilet seat a toilet there I don't know if there was a seat or not I can't remember but I, I did come out of there feeling quite traumatized I did have to, Lily is little enough still that I could kind of hold her and so she didn't have to put her feet on the tray um but she did splash pee on my foot <laughs> it, honestly if I'm gonna get someone's urine on my foot I'd, I'd rather it be mine or my kids quite frankly um but yeah that that was interesting the rest of the stops were fine um that you just don't get a toilet seat and I don't I will never understand why you don't get a toilet seat I just find that so bizarre um especially if you need a poo and you have to just sit on the porcelain I don't I don't know I don't know but anyway yeah so there we go but it was okay it was only for two days would you consider driving to another country again absolutely yeah absolutely we would it's so easy it's just so easy once you get there um and that that's all the questions but once you get there it's fine the motorways are there's a higher speed limit than here anyway you just have to keep up with the traffic you just have to keep up with the flow of the traffic like they don't take any prisoners in france <laughs> you just have to keep keep up keep your speed up um but it's really easy it's not as busy there were bits where it was busier but it was so good it was so it was so good um I don't know I, I guess it helps that I know I have a lot of faith in my husband and his driving um and he likes driving like he loves cars and loves driving so um and we like our car so that's that's good it's not like we went we were driving in a car that we didn't like it was our car we know how it how it works how it feels um it's a big car so it's comfortable to travel in for two days um it, so that's that being said we still only just got everything in the boot even though my boot's big I definitely overpacked and I wouldn't do that next time because where we were staying we actually had a washing machine so next time if we've got a washing machine I definitely won't take as many clothes um but yeah I would definitely recommend driving driving in Europe it was brilliant so I hope that that answers all your questions I am sorry that I can't be more specific about the financials of it because I kind of just decided while I had time today that I would do this video I don't know how how much it cost overall um I came back with 300 pounds I think so I didn't spend we didn't spend all of our holiday money we kind of just had a lump that I'd put away for spending money um, and we paid for our hotels there and then so we could book them and pay when we were checking in so that was really handy we didn't have to pay for those and we just obviously bought fuel and things while we were down there so it kind of was all in included we had our food shopping we had to go to the supermarket quite a lot um because we have children and we're doing a self-catering holiday and I kind of prefer that um because then you can just tailor it to how exactly as you want I mean we're quite used to having to go to supermarkets all the time anyway with the kids because it's family life you know I did read somewhere a long time ago that basically when you have kids you just give all your money to the bank for the mortgage and the supermarkets for food and that's pretty much true um but I did have like comments from for my last holiday where we went to Spain where people said oh you're in the supermarkets all the time how boring my kids friggin love a supermarket they love going to the supermarket because it means they can con us into getting them chocolate so they don't mind going to the supermarket because they like to pick out the treats especially when we're in France or Spain because they're different to in England but anyway um yeah I came back with some spending money I was quite we were mindful so that's what I was saying and um, we had a lump sum of what we were spending I divided it by the days we were there bearing in mind that I knew we needed to pay for our hotels and we needed to buy fuel and things like that um, and then we just had like a budget of each day and some days we spent more some days we spent less um, we bought ice creams out an awful lot which we may not do again if we go if we try and do it on a bigger budget um, but you know their special time so it's worth spending the money isn't it you know making memories and things like that um but anyway i do hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give me a thumbs up um i just want to go on another holiday now i just i just don't want to do regular life i just want to go on holiday um let me know if you feel the same way i 
we'll see you hopefully in my next video take care everybody bye